Okay, it's Wednesday, August 30th. It's 1035. I'm gonna have breakfast. I'm not gonna fast today because I'm actually hungry. I'm gonna try one of these cinnamon protein English muffins. Never had them made with whey protein crisp. Never had them. And last I knew, I don't like English muffins because I haven't had one since I was a kid. But I like the sausage egg McMuffin things from McDonald's. So I probably do like English muffins. But we're gonna try these cinnamon and protein ones. So I bought one of those toasted with butter on it and it looks and smells delicious. I have a Coke Zero on that. Oh, I'm gonna have a hard boiled egg. I have to get it out of my fridge. Yeah, hard boiled egg and English muffin. Okay, I'm gonna move you over here because of the sun coming in the window. Jax, what are you doing? Don't mess with that stuff. It is Wednesday, August 30th. It is actually today's. Put that, put that back. Today's actually my dad's birthday. Happy heavenly birthday, dad. And look, he open presents. I know. Do you think he's having a good birthday up there? I hope so. He's up there with his mom and his dad and his brother and his sister and with Jesus. Huh. And even Grandma Janet's friend. Grandma Wallace? Yeah, we're all going in heaven with me. Yep, she is up in heaven. And Grandma Campbell. And Dee Dee, Nana's sister. And Papa, Nana's dad. And Grampy's mom and dad. There's a whole bunch of people up in heaven. So like it this? is a whole, whole bunch. A whole bunch like, of angels up there. Like, like, a day for water angels? Yes. A whole bunch so of it water. is one o'clock. A lot, a lot, a lot? Don't tell, buddy. A lot? Yeah, a whole lot. It is whatever I was saying. One o'clock. I'm making lunch. One o'clock. I had that, um. I'm on the call. Jackie, please. Oh my God. I had that protein English muffin. For breakfast, I don't know if I really like it. I would have to put like peanut butter or something on it because with just butter, it just has a funny taste. I don't know. So I'm making. Oh my gosh, my nephew had surgery today. I keep getting. No, I'm not. Oh, he's awake. All is good. He is sore. He had a hernia, and they went in to repair it, and he actually had two. But he was terrified because before his surgery, my mom told him that her cousin, um, what the heck's the word when you choke on your own vomit? Asphyxia. Asphyxia, yeah. She was telling my nephew that her cousin did that, and that's how he died. Oh my God. So my nephew and my sister are like, he's scared to death that he's going to die. So he was scared to death, so they gave him something for anxiety, and then he just could not stop laughing. So she sent this video, and he is just like laughing and controlling it. And she's like, what are you laughing about? He's like, I don't even know, and he cannot stop laughing. So she was just giving us updates. So today's housework is just Abby's room, and then mop after the kids go to bed. So I think I'm going to take down all of my summer decorations. Got it. You got it? Okay, can you settle down now so I can make your yeah. lunch? Oh my lord. So since today's only chores, Allie's room, which her room's picked up, I just need to vacuum it. I think. Like I said, I think I'm going to take down. Plus, it's supposed to get down in the 40s tonight, so we need to go down into the crawl space or whatever. What, why do I call that? It's not a crawl space. It's a storm cellar. You can actually stand up in there. It's not a crawl space. It's a crawl space. No! Not again! Jax, please. No, you can't. So we kind of need to go down there anyways. Make sure everything's in good shape in case we turn the furnace on tonight. Because it's supposed to get like, like 47, I think. I've been watching hurricane footage today. Just been, I've been actually, I've been sitting on the couch editing a video, a long video. So it's currently uploading. It's like 40 some minutes long. All right, Jax, mac and cheese, a cucumber with ranch, and then some fruit. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think after I eat, and Jay told the kids that after school today, uh, they would do the hermit crab cage and he bought a little tank for the fish that they got at the fair we wanted to have like a fish tank for a long time anyways but when so he said looking? when the gold okay so go he said like when the goldfish die because they're probably not gonna last long they're still in the bags from the fair we went to the fair on 
Friday. Today's Wednesday. They're still in the bags, and the bags are still tied, but they're still alive. The crabs are still doing great. Yeah, we have five fish, buddy. Five. So he said, you know, after those fish get flushed, you know, eventually we'll be able to get some fish. So it's okay. To, like he went and got the tank yesterday. And he found a 15 gallon tank on Facebook Marketplace that somebody was getting rid of. It's not in the best condition, but it's for hermit crabs. So it doesn't have to be like an amazing shape. I just wish it was more long than tall. It's kind of like a taller tank. But you need, oh, I just dropped a blueberry in the ranch. But you need like longer. They have more room to run and play. So that's watching. Jax. Okay, great. So then I was watching like hermit crab videos, like what all you need to have. Like mine was basic. I got mine years ago when I was a kid. It was basic. It was in like a little tank with just like some sawdust chips and like food and water. That's it. I didn't have a pool for it to swim in and like all this crap that they're saying you need for them now. So Adam. But the kids are excited because he went last night. He didn't get back in time to do it. So I took the kids over to the park. So we were at the park for a while. Past what time we should have been home. <laughs> so then we were late getting to bed. But this morning wasn't too bad. I don't know. Adrienne got her phone taken away because she was just, she is mean in the morning. She's, once she's awake and going, it's great. But when she, first thing in the morning when you wake her up, oh my gosh. And she kept getting mouthy and just talking nasty. So I took her phone. I said, if she can be nice, um, she can have it back after school. Then before she left, she's like, can I please have it on the bus? Like, because then she, once she was awake, she started being nice. I'm like, no. So you can have it. If you're nice, you can have it after school. So you're not having it on the bus because you need to learn that you cannot talk to me like that, whether you're tired or not. Everybody wakes up tired. Like, nobody wakes up like, well, I mean, there probably are people that wake up, but not in this house. Like, it's okay to wake up tired and not be in the best mood, but you don't get crappy with your mother. So, yeah, so I think after I eat lunch, because it's 1 o'clock, so we have like two and a half hours roughly till all the kids are home. So I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start taking down my summer stuff. You guys, I'm for the last so many years, I've wanted to put up my fall decorations on September 1st. My birthday September 2nd. Fall's my favorite season. And this year I'm doing it, damn it. So we're taking down the summer stuff today and putting it down in the, crawl, in the, oh my God, the storm cellar. So, so we need to go down there anyways and putting it away. And all the fall stuff is out in the Boy, garage, the so I can bring it. Yeah, that's where the totes are. Oh yep. Everything in the garage is fall, like fall through Christmas, like fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving. See, so it's mac and cheese, cucumbers with ranch, some fruit. I think I'm just gonna have a little bowl of Caesar salad. I'm not, I mean, I'm kinda hungry, but that breakfast, I mean, the breakfast was, it was just, it wasn't high in calories. It was high in carbs. I don't know. Let me go if I miss food real quick. All right, keep going with ranch, fruit, mac and cheese, right? Okay, here. Okay, he requested Dora. We just watched some video that he got for Christmas. Top Cat or something, I don't know. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna do some lunch. What was my, let me see what my breakfast was. It was super high in carbs, which I'm not trying to cut out carbs completely, but. heavy so I'm just gonna have I think just Caesar salad Mama, Mama. I'm so excited that my birthday is Saturday which I'm not celebrating my birthday this year other than um, tomorrow night I'm going with my pick of where to go to, to dinner with my mom and my grandma and my sister we've done this the last couple years my mom used to do like a Labor Day get together and it's just She'd make food and make all these plans and some people show up, some people don't, and then, I don't know, it's just crazy. Everything depends on the weather. <laughs> he hasn't watched Dora in forever. He just asked me if he could watch it. So, my sister, my grandma, my mother, and I are going out to eat. We're going to Red Lobster. I'm so excited. My mom just texted me a little bit ago. She's like, reminder, Red Lobster tomorrow. And my sister's like, oh my gosh, I've been dreaming about stuffed mushrooms, which I don't like mushrooms anyway. And she said, I think I'm going to get the ultimate feast. I'm like, that's the only thing I get. So I'm so excited for crab legs and lobster and shrimp. And like the biscuits. 
And my mom's like, ooh, and clam chowder. She's like, I'm thinking crab and steak and clam chowder. She's like, ooh, and I love the mushrooms. She's like, and biscuits. So, so it must be way too long since it must have been there because we're all like craving it right now. So tomorrow night I will do that. Friday, that tomorrow's Thursday. And then Friday I have to go get tags for my car. I always do it late and I need to not do it late. Cause my birthday's Labor Day weekend. So it's always, I always put things off. I'm like, oh crap, I gotta get text for my car. And the places are closed. I gotta wait closed Monday. So there's no school Monday. So last week was the first week of school. It was a four day week. This week is a five day week. Next week, they don't have school Monday. So they have a four day week. Uh, let's see, is it the week after that or two weeks after that? They're off like on a Wednesday. So it's like, you just get into a routine and a schedule and getting, trying to get like, you know, a set routine and then they start having all these days off. So I'm gonna try and just do half of this bag of scissors out, which I don't understand how they can say like there's, this says five servings. When I eat a salad, like I want a salad and I want like a little side salad. Uh oh, well I have some of my bowl and there's no way I have half because there's still a ton of lettuce in so Maybe I just say I have two servings. There's not six servings in here. I don't know. Whatever. We'll just we'll say two servings. Which is probably gonna make this super high. And then is there three servings left in there? How is there 16 red? Oh, it's mainly, I was say, mainly lettuce. That's what, what gets you on salads is the dressing. The dressing, the croutons. So there's two packets of dressing. I'm not going to use half a packet. Alright, we've got the lettuce. Some of the croutons. Even though I'm not having two servings of all of it, I'm having more than two servings of the lettuce, but I'm not having more than two servings of the dressing or cheese or any of that. So we're just going to say two servings. I mean, I'm not real strict about anything anyway. It's just kind of nice to track it for a while so you have an idea of what the heck you eat in a day. It's so funny because people are like, oh my gosh. I can't wait just looking at that and blah, blah, blah. People say it all the time, like people everywhere. I was watching this fitness person show them what she eats in a day, and everybody's like, "Oh my gosh, if I, I that's more than I eat in like three days. I eat half of that, and I still gain weight. Like that's the problem. If you're eating less, if you're not eating enough calories, like there's a whole formula it goes by your what to know how many calories you should have in a day. And as long as you're eating under your calories, I mean, yeah, a calorie deficit. That's how you lose weight. I can't get this, in. but. Also, if you eat two less of calories, your body goes into starvation mode, and that causes weight gain instead of weight loss. So it's like, and the girl, she had, she was eating like, it was like a 1700 calorie diet. It was a high protein diet. It's like, it's not even that much. It's not even 2000 calories. If people even track what they ate today, and like, some people say, if you're eating like fattening, heavy, dense foods, you could eat like one, I don't know, a serving of pasta, and then like, just like heavier dense foods and only eat like two meals and be over your calorie intake. Where if you eat lower calorie, high protein meals, you could have like five meals a day and have way less calorie intake than the two meals a day. So it's not about, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's pretty simple. So we have the lettuce, cheese, dressing, croutons. That's why if, you, if you're not sure, you can always download an app and just scan your food and just so you have a rough idea like you might be eating way more than you think because you think oh i only eat two meals a day okay but are you eating a serving size or are you eating three serving sizes or portions in one sitting so there's a lot of people that say i only eat twice a day you know if i ate five meals or had three meals and snacks i would gain it depends what they are it's not about how many how many off you could you could have the same meal and just break it into thirds and have that one meal have it like three, you know, five it's a, you say five times a day. 
Yeah, steak's a lean protein. You can't afford to eat steak three times a day, but. Um, yeah, it's all about what you eat. And then some people are always like, oh my gosh, cook at home, it's better. Okay, just because you cook at home doesn't mean it's healthier than someone grabbed a meal out. Somebody could grab a freaking burger and side salad or a small chili from a fast food place like at Wendy's, or to get like two crunchy tacos at Taco Bell, which I think a crunchy taco is only, what, nine net carbs or something? And that could be way healthier than the meal you made at home that's fried chicken, a ton of corn, and mashed potatoes with gravy. So just because you make it at home does not mean it's healthier than something that somebody gets out. It might be less processed if you got like fresh potatoes and fresh corn. Yeah, you're not having as much processed, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's healthier just because it's at home. So yeah. Just, oh my gosh, my phone. It's, it's like, it like takes a lot of things. That's why if you just track, like okay, let me just, my breakfast, I had the one English muffin with butter, and I had one hard boiled, hard -boiled egg with <coughs> like a sprinkle of bacon pieces. So my breakfast was 275 calories, uh, 16 grams of protein, 13 grams of fat, and where's, my carbs, 24 carbs. So, so far today, it's, what? It's a quarter after one in the afternoon and I've only eaten 275 calories today. Then like people say, think you need to do like a shit ton of cardio to lose weight and you don't really. Like when you, cardio doesn't burn fat, cardio burns calories. And in most cases, it burns carbs that are in your blood which the next time you eat, it just refuels it. I mean, so a shit ton of cardio doesn't burn fat. Cardio burns calories, which is why if you keep your calories, like my calorie intake is set at, I have my card major, and it says that my calories for a day should be around 1570. That's when I was doing like the percentages of one of the keto things, which I'm not doing keto, but it's just set, set in my phone that way. So like my upper limit for protein is 98 grams, Fat is 122 grams, calories 1,570, net carbs 20. So you don't want to try and meet the fat. It's like you're trying to hit 122 grams, but you just want to stay under it. But as long as you stay under the calorie intake, like if I keep my calories at 1,570, which is right on track with what my body needs to maintain, if you're trying to gain, you eat more than that. If you're trying to lose, you do less than that. But then also, the more muscle you have on your body, the more calories you burn sitting still. So the best way to start c dropping weight and seeing results is eating more protein and lifting weights to build more muscle. Because the more muscle your body has, the more calories you burn just sitting still doing nothing. So if I kept my calories around 1,500 and I was on my exercise bike for 20 minutes and burned 200 calories, then I'm in a calorie deficit, which promotes weight loss. So that's it. You could eat like spaghetti and meatballs every day if you have a small portion of it and then watch everything else you eat as long as everything else you eat is like pretty much healthy, as long as you're under the calories that your body needs to maintain. Which I think pretty sure goes by your weight. If you look it up, like you can look it up on Google and it'll tell you how many calories you should eat in a day. And then just plug it into your phone in one of these apps like Lose It or My Fitness Pal or Carb Manager. And then just track what you eat in a day. Most of them have a scanner you can scan. And don't worry about what it says, just scan what you eat in a day to see what you're at. You might be surprised that you're eating like twice the calories you should have in a day to maintain your weight because of your food choices and how much of the food you eat. Like on days when you guys see me do like an eating video, I eat a shit ton of food. It's probably my, it's usually my first meal of the day and like the only thing I eat for that day. So like that one meal might be a thousand calories, but if that's all I have in a whole day, it's only a thousand calories for the whole entire day. Or even 2,000. If you had a big huge spaghetti dinner with breadsticks and crap and it was 2,000 calories, well if that was your only meal a day, you're still in a decent calorie range. But also, when you're trying to add protein, you don't want to try and add like a shit ton of every meal. I think your body can only absorb like, or can like break down or absorb 30 grams of, roughly 30 grams of protein at a meal or something like that. 
to our live fitness people eat like three meals and two snacks or just multiple meals to break up the protein throughout the day if you're not lifting and trying to like add muscle you're just trying to lose weight and don't really want to work out it's totally different but if you're working out and burning a ton of calories and lifting weights you need the protein and the extra calories also drinking water helps with weight loss and so does good sleep which i still don't drink water i try here and there in my sleep i get like four hours of sleep at night so those things i'm working on too but yeah I'm gonna eat my salad. And if I eat anything else, I will let you know. I'm not a trainer, I'm not a fitness expert, but it's all things that you can just look up. It's a basic formula to tell you how many calories your body needs for your size, your age, your weight, to maintain your weight. And then if you eat under that, you'll lose. If you eat more than that, you'll gain. You're supposed to aim for half a gram of protein to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I weigh 146 today. So I should be eating between, where is that? 70 some and 146 grams of protein. My breakfast alone was 16. chicken or something. I think I'm gonna make spaghetti for dinner. And not all carbs are bad. You need carbs for like brain function, for energy. Getting carbs from a bag of chips is not as good as getting carbs from like fresh fruits or like a sweet potato. But I'm gonna go eat and stop rambling. Okay, I ate my salad. I'm still hungry. Oh, I'm really impressed with myself because I haven't been eating a lot of chips, even when I'm not trying to watch what I eat. But I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna have some artisanal chicken, like wrapped up or rolled up with a cheese stick, I think. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take the sharp cheddar cheese stick. I'm going to cut it. <laughs> oh, Jax. Hey, your map is in here. Jax? What? Map is in here. Oh, no. It's... Oh, no. Right there on your table in that bag from Nana. The little bag from Nana. On your yeah, look, map's right there. pieces. I should have just cut it in half and had two little wraps. <clears throat> Whatever. I definitely need to get this chicken again because everybody seems to like it. Alright. I'm just going to take a piece of this. <laughs> All mangled up. Put some mustard on it. This cheese stick is like breaking at all these pieces. I'm just gonna roll it up. It's like a chicken and cheese roll up. Ah! I'm just right here. Is it 
good source of protein between the chicken and the cheese. Mustard is like really for flavor. There's not really anything in mustard. Mustard actually. I'm a map. I'm a map. I'm health a map. benefits. Wait, listen. What, buddy? This Dora's house. Yeah, I think so. I think that's Dora's house. Yeah, it is. Let me move it up now. Okay, I don't know where backpack is. No idea. I haven't seen backpack in a while. Me either. Oh, I should have put. Oh! Bye. What? I should have put like a thin slice of pickle in here. Maybe. I think a third serving size of this chicken is three slices. Are you going to get rocks for the fish tank for when they get home? Or are you taking them with you to get it? Even asked me my mom. So we're after school. We're gonna do the crabs and the fish. I'm like, well, I don't know. That's the plan. <clears throat> oh, you found Dora. So this lunch meat chicken, a serving size is three slices. Three slices, one and a half grams of fat, one carb, and 11 grams of protein. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat these four slices of chicken with mustard and cheese. I have to plug it all into my card. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna get my summer stuff down. Hello, focus please. I don't know if I'm gonna get the summer stuff down because I can't until Jay goes down the basement. He has to, I can't lift that door to get down there and the totes to put the stuff in are, is down in the basement. So, Allie gets, I have to watch for her in like 20 minutes. I wanted to do it before she got home because we have stuff to do once the girls get home. But I need someone's help just opening the freaking door to down there. Which isn't asking a whole lot. We can. But you can't lift up the floor. We have to lift that piece off the floor to get downstairs. And I can't lift it, it's too heavy. I can lift it up. I can't lift it because I talk shit. Maybe I'm gonna start collecting and putting it on the island. I guess, that's all I can do. This all right, I'm gonna wipe this island off and I'm going to start just collecting stuff from throughout the house and putting it on the island I guess. You guys heard me ask again. But that's me being mean. Sharing what my life is like and being mean. It's literally just a chunk of wood in the floor. There's like not a handle to lift it up. It's not on a hinge. It's just this big huge piece of stuff on the floor. I'll actually show you so you know what I'm talking about if you don't know what a, you don't know what a storm cellar is. No, there's not a handle. You're all right there on the end. That, that's not, I mean it's not like there's a handle that's with a it handle. on, it's not on a hinge where you can just grab the handle and open it up like a normal door. Yeah, it is. It's this big heavy, and you can barely even open it. Yes, it's, it's actually two doors. There's actually two doors. I only need one up open to get down there. Open it. I can't. I just said that. I can't lift it. I don't have the strength to lift it. I don't have arm strength okay. or hand strength. So that just needs to lift up so I can go downstairs to get totes to put my stuff in. Wow, let me see again. Show me those muscles. Whoa, buddy. Okay, I have to watch for Allie in like 10 minutes, but he just lifted the doors. See, oh. they're, they're not on hinges and you can just swing them up. No, you have to lift them completely and he can't ah. get down there. What? So take a broom. I said, I told you for like the last couple months you need to go down there and check stuff. You can go down there. It's not scared. The light's on, buddy. You're okay. Go ahead. Yeah, just yeah. like that. Yeah, and there's only a couple summer totes anyways. Ew! Do you want to show them what it looks like down there? Yeah, 
It's a storm cellar. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a tiny basement. I mean. Yeah. What? Yeah, we're going to need a new... Uh... Furnace filter? Yeah. Dude, I've been telling you for like two months to check the filter. Yeah, all in. Oh, never mind. It's not that bad. You don't know. Were you looking at... You put this Yankee Candle thing on there, did you? You did. I gave it to you to put on it. You can take it off. It never even worked. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. What? It's not dead. It's not dead. What, a cobweb? Yeah, no. It's not A fly. A fly? Why is the whole floor down there on the right side discolored? Did something leak down there? I don't know. No, it's uh. Oh, someone needs to go down. Someone needs to go down there with a broom and actually sweep up all this crap. Yeah, I, can. I can. I can. You can. <laughs> and you say we need to clean it up in case we need to go down there. I can. But, okay, he can put this. Sweep. Look, Dad's gonna get the summer totes and put them up here. See, look, our fish are still in the bag. Oh, they're going crazy because I'm moving them. We've got to get them. Jay went to Walmart and Meyer yesterday to get fish food. Nobody has goldfish food. So, we've got to get them in the tank, get them food, get the crabs. To do. Hey, don't jump around by the fish or by this door, okay? Yeah, good job. I told you, he needs to put the couch back over here. No one plays the drums. Put the drums back over there where they used to be. Put the couch here. What? All right, so which one's the summer? They're, they sh I don't know. The... Let me get shoes. They should be labeled. They're not. I believe they're down, down here. Honey. Well, all the summer stuff is. Let me get I shoes. I got my new shoes. Mom, bring the camera. I know. I know you're going to argue and say it's not down there when bring it is. Bring the camera down there. I'm not bringing the camera down. Because the only thing in the garage is the extra clothes that are, uh, that are Adri's that will fit Allie. The and then... Fuck? Fall, and Halloween, and Christmas. Jack, don't come down here. Why? What? Because there's a bunch of wasps. A bunch? Well, I just killed one, and it's on the floor, so it's still stinging. That's a bunch? You saw one? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, I thought it wasn't down there. There's only two. I know, that's what I, I don't have very much summer stuff. That's why I said it's not a lot. Oh, my God, like I said, you don't hear anything anyway. <laughs> you. Yeah, this is for my summer stuff. Oh, don't get it out. I have to put stuff away. I'm going to put all of our summer stuff away so that we can get out. False. No, I'm not. All of the first uh, the first half of the year stuff is down down there. There's no room in the garage. See, look. I'll hurt my back. I just have a handful of... Oh, my God. Look at this. Carrying up two empty yeah. totes. No, you got the way you got to like lean over down there doesn't help me at all. Tell him, suck it up, buttercup. Suck up. <laughs> really? That's I'm not editing that out either, so people can hear how you talk. What? It's paper to wrap stuff up. Okay, watch the fish. All right, now I can start taking. Well, I have to watch for Allie, and then I can start taking stuff down. Oh my gosh, such a headache to get any help with anything here. What? Jack, I love those. I'm not going down there. Dad just had to go down and get those totes. When we get the stuff in them, Jacks. I like those shoes on you, buddy. Jay, stop being an asshole. You hear me trying to talk to him. He wants to go down. When I get this, shut up. When I get the summer stuff packed up in those totes, Dad will take them back down, and you can go back down when he takes them down, okay? We're leaving it open for right now. I like your shoes, bud. You see what I put up with? It's nonstop all day, every day. Unless he's sleeping for three. That's why I told him, sleep for three days. Then I don't have to deal with you. All right, it's almost time to watch for Allie. Did you just knock that on the floor? No. You're moved at all.
easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break in Watch me break in Okay, I don't know. 
I took the honey sign down off of that wall. This tear tray's cleaned off. The starfish were in that little mirror box. This is cleaned off, this tear tray. The summer stuff is off the hutch. I just took the trolls off the walls that they had hanging, and I think that's it. I didn't really have summer stuff like everywhere. Now the fall stuff, it will be everywhere. I do need to take this down. All oh, ouch! All these little guys are up there. Jax has toys everywhere. He needs to pick up. Oh, I see. Allie's coming, so I gotta go get her. Oh yay! Nice to put it in tote. And then in a couple days, I'm ready to get out the fall stuff. Looky, the blue one went in the water. No, I did put it in. No, I did. I see you did. I put it right there. It's just that they swim. No way, they don't swim. They can stay completely submerged for up to 30 minutes, it says. That's why they have the big things yes, of water. Can swim. It doesn't look like it can. Jay, you just have to make sure that they can climb out. That's why you have to have something else so they can climb out. Oh, Mom, I it's okay. It's okay. He'll turn himself around and climb out. It's what they do. Grab him and take him out of there. No, he has to learn. They can be underwater for up to 30 minutes. He's been in there for like a minute. Hi, buddy. But you don't know if it's used hey. to the water or if the water okay. is Okay, it's not You didn't put nothing it. in that water, did you? It's not. He's fine. What kind of water? So it says that they just have to be able to climb out. Please don't make him yell. I'm trying to take a video. See, they like to swim. She even saw the video. They like to swim. Oh, this guy's booking. What's he doing? Jax, don't do that. Don't hit the thing. See, look. He's turned right side up. Dude, climb on the rock. They will. Just give them time. But this guy's gonna eat. <laughs> don't, 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 Jax. You must not be hungry. But you need to get over to the big thing of water. You want to swim. So get a piece of the tree bark and put it down there for him to grab if you're worried about the I'm not. Uh, if he drowns, he drowns. That's awesome. Like I said, every video I've tried to take, you're ruining it with the things you say. Well, Jack, you can't reach down in there, buddy. Hold on, hey, Jaxie, hang on, buddy. Can you submerge a hermit crab in water? There he is. There you go. He's, he's all the way underwater, swimming, living his best life. Oh my gosh. There he goes. He went for a little swim. Shoot, can he get out on that rock? I don't think he can. It should be. I should have rocks all around it, maybe. You think? I don't know. He's getting out, it looks like. Hope it just don't fall back down in there. 
Look at these things. <laughs> I've never knew hermit crabs do this shit. Hey, quit cussing. There you go. He got a swim. And he got out. Adrian, your crab got out of the water. It could actually find out. I wonder if he's going to go take a run. They'll probably never even use that thing. Fifteen dollars. What? Wait, shh. wait, wait! He's going. In, he's going to go in the water. I think. I think he's going to go in the water too. The blue one just came out. Look how big he is when he starts to come out of his shell. Why don't we need to use like a plastic spoon and pile some sand down there where they keep trying to go? I think he's going to go swim. I don't know what he's doing. Oh no! Nope. Are the fish still alive? What? Yeah. Yep. Oh, four, five. Hold still. Hold still, Jesse. Oh, he doesn't want to walk right now. Okay, it's 10 p.m. All the kids are in bed. I've got all the chairs and everything pulled up in here. I've got them pulled out in the dining room so I can just mop. I'm gonna mop right here first so it can dry first. And then like work my way around and then work my way around the table so I can get back through. So yeah. Was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy 